Hi guys, welcome to Chavelle's channel. So today I'm going to show you the version of Babysit Me on Android. So it's very, very similar to Apple, but I'm just going to show you the Android version. So first off, you open it up and you start with the same screen, which is the home screen. So what I'm going to first do is click on what is your baby's name and name our baby. So down the bottom, you've got the option of male, female, or male or female names. So you can just click on them and they're like a random name generator. There are some funny names in there, but there are some different names that you might like. If you don't like any of those names or if your baby already has a name, you are welcome to write in what the baby's name is and it will put it on there for you. So then you can press save and it says the baby's name and then it says says hello. So for in this instance it says Jessica says hello. Press OK. And now this is the main home screen that will always show. So you've got four buttons there, change your baby's name, start, cancel and about. So if you go into change your baby's name again, if you were using a different baby or you wanted to change the name of the baby, etc., you can go through here and go back through this again. If you're done with that, just press save and it will go back to the home screen. If we go into start, we have two options. We have play mode and we have simulation mode. So let's click on play mode. Play mode has three schedules that you're able to choose which one you want to use. The play mode schedules run for one hour each with a condensed shorter version of the normal schedules. It is designed for children to be used for a shorter attention span and maybe getting used to the app. So let's click on schedule one. So we're going to start the app. This is play mode where it starts. So you can hear that it's just started. It's only vibrated. I must have the volume down so I can turn the volume up and let's try that again. Let's go to start play mode. Let's try schedule two. And there's the notification that comes up. So if I swipe down, here are the two notifications that it's given me. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Now, if we're wanting to answer the door or have a shower or something like that, when play mode is on, you can click pause. When you're finished with answering the door or having a shower or whatever, you can resume. If you're finished with the app press cancel and it'll take you back to the home screen let's go back into start and we'll click on simulation mode so simulation mode runs 24 7 so it starts at the very start of the day so 1 a.m and it will finish at 12 p.m there is three modes so you have easy medium and hard Obviously, the easy is going to be an easier baby and the hard is going to be a harder baby. All of the care events are listed in the instructions. So let's click on easy. This is the screen that will come up. There's your notification that will start. So I'll just turn that off. <clears throat> to know that your simulation is running, you have on the screen, it says care schedule easy. It has your baby's name, it has the time that it started, and it says running on there. The pause button here is used for if you were driving a car, I would like that you stopped the simulator on your phone as you're not to use your phone while driving in the car. So if you could pause the simulator while you drive, and then when you get out of the car, it's fine to click on resume again. It will resume back to the simulation. So if you're wanting to finish with the simulation, just press cancel. And it will go back. 
Now I will also let you guys know that this app will run in the background so you can use your phone for other things. Third button down is a cancel button. This is just in case we have any glitches and for some reason the skip simulation wants to continue. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is click on cancel if anything does go wrong. Last button that we've got is the about button. It has four different buttons at the top. We've got about, instructions, credits, and video. So let's look at the about. This is just all the information. The instructions are what the care events are and what you're supposed to do with them. There's some notes that I've written down the bottom and then just a little bit of information letting you know, guys know that you should turn it off when you're driving not use the app while you're driving then we've got the credits this is where all the sounds came from and last but not least this is the video app of the demonstration of how to use the app now it doesn't have anything in there for specifically for apple or android because it's generally the same app so both versions are on both videos if you happen to have an apple phone and you've watched this intro, then I do have an Apple version of it, so have a look at that one and that might help you out. They're very similar, but some of the buttons are in different places. For instance, the about on Apple is down the bottom instead of up the top where all of these buttons here are. I hope that this was easy for you guys to understand and I hope that you can enjoy this app Thank you for watching. Have a good day.